Okay, so another interesting concept is you throw out all the theory for a second here. Throw it all out. I'm going to talk to you about synchronization. What book talks about syncing with your dog? Zero. None. Why not? Because it's all between you and the dog and what it is that you do. And that you can define with words. It's action. Only action can do that. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is if you sync a lot with your dog, what you get is your dog wants to sync with you after a while. Like he will see what you do so he can sync himself to your action. Adapt to your action, that's where you get the flow. That's when you see the dog actually wants to be a part of how you move. If you go fast, he wants to go fast. You slow down, he slows down. You bend down a little bit, he bends down. You start sliding, he starts sliding. You start doing this, he starts popping up with his head, giving you that head action, the positioning. It is it's becoming one big picture. There's not, there are no sequences anymore. Forget about the sequences. Forget about the, okay, we're doing this little part, and then we go out there, we do that little part. No, it's gonna be all one part. And whatever you do, he's like reading your body. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Yes, coming in between, going backwards, boom, healing. No, we're not, we're not, 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 we're making action, we're making action. Maybe we're moving, we're not moving. We're going forward, we're going backwards, forward, backwards. Into foot position, making a turn. Into the right, making a turn. Yes, going here, boom, boom. So each time you stop, you get to stop, stop. Then you slide backwards. Then you go forward, slide backwards, go forward, yeah? Then you pivot right here, you pivot right here. That one is really good. He comes into position, you pivot those legs, and you slide them backwards. Why do you slide them backwards? Because the dog's got to find his angle, chest to shin, and that's what he wants. And because he has so much body control, he's able to pull it off. So there's basically nothing you can do without him sinking to you, and that's what you're after. So basically, since it's so fun to do, you don't really have to think about it. What happens? If you don't really have to think about things, is now you can add something. And what can you add? What is it that I love, for example? Put the headphones on, turn up the speakers, and that's when you start rolling, right? So what are you gonna do with this dog? You don't know. Maybe you'll make him turn around you, turn around you. Then all of a sudden you say foot. And when he's trying to pull up into that foot position, you move yourself away in that foot position. And he lands exactly where your foot lands. And that is what freestyle is about. That means it's total freedom. And he chooses, your dog will choose to sink to your body movement. You don't even want him to do it. He will do it spontaneously. So at some point, you will not do things close proximity. You will actually separate them from you. Meaning the following. He's got his reward right there. You're standing right here. Okay, so basically it's dogs over here, I'm over here, yeah? When I slide backwards, he recognizes that, and he slides backwards too. He slides backwards too. I go forward, he goes forward too. But he's not connected to me, he's not connected. So even with space in between, he can sink, he can sink. Now reverse it, dogs over there, right? He's going backwards, I'm going forward. You stop, you come back, he stops, right? You tell him to get the ball that you can't command, yeah? And as soon as he starts running, he goes and sink with you. He runs and sink, and sink in the circle. We call it the circle of thrust. Synchronization. He's pushing the action. Now he wants to do whatever you have in mind. Within the circle, within the circle of thrust, you make him down, you make him sit, stand, you make him bark, you make him stop barking. You go, make him go backwards, forward. You make him hold something. You make him out something. You recall him, you send him again. You recall him again the last second. You change your mind into a sit front position, into here, between, right? And then all of a sudden when he thinks this is as good as it gets, I'm gonna go get this reward right now. You click, and guess what happens then? He's not getting any rewards that he wants. He's gonna pick the one that you chose. You are in control of the reward. You're in control of the dog. You're in control of his drive. You're in control of his movement, of his grip, of his vocals. That's ultimate control.